What's up bombshells, it's Nicole. Today we are gonna go over the sumo deadlift. We're gonna talk about how to knock this lift out correctly and some of the common faults we see with this movement and how to correct them. So let's get into it. So we have to start with a proper setup. And if your feet are out of place, the rest of the lift will be jacked up. So first thing we wanna do, since it's a sumo deadlift, our feet are very wide, much wider than a conventional deadlift. So our feet are gonna be well outside our hips, toes out slightly. Now your stance will vary based on how tall you are, what your hip structure's like, what your flexibility is like. So feet out, toes out, your hands are now gonna be on the insides of your leg. I like to just extend my arm down directly from my shoulder. I plie down, meaning I push my knees out as I lower my hips to the floor. And I wanna try to keep that barbell as close to my body as possible. So even touching the shins, that's okay. So once I'm here, I brace myself, taking a nice deep breath. I drive through the floor with my heels, up and back, squeeze my butt hard, and then lower back down. The three main issues I see with the sumo deadlift is one, setting up with knees shooting forward or inwards. So that would be foot position or hips not in the right position. Two, hips starting way too high. Or three, the initial setup is pretty good, but the sequence of the lift gets jacked up. Their hips kind of shoot up first, and then they're really just holding with their back again. So let's go over those one by one. All right, so let's talk about that knee fault where the knees are either caving forward or inward. Again, think about really plieing and push those knees apart. So ideally in your setup, if I were to look at you from the front or from the side, really any angle, I should see a very vertical shin. Okay, so from the front, shin should be vertical. From the side, shin should be very vertical. I should not see knees coming forward like this. I should not see knees way on the inside of the toes. Now, if you have by mistake taken too wide of a stance, then try bringing in your feet. Again, it's all based on what your femurs and tibias are built like and the shape and flexibility of your hips. So if you can't externally rotate and open them wide enough to keep those knees stacked on top of the ankles, then your knees are gonna be pulled in. So play around with the foot position to create that very vertical shin. The next common fault I see with people in the sumo deadlift, or really any deadlift in general, is their hips starting way too high. So yes, you have to hinge your hips, but you also have to lower your body down to where your knees aren't locked out and where it's just not loading your back. So make sure that when you set up for the sumo deadlift, yes, you're hinging, but you're also lowering your body down at the same time. And the third most common error I see with a sumo deadlift is the setup is actually pretty decent, but they end up shooting their hips up when they drive through the floor. So setup's good, right? They plie down, their shins are pretty vertical. Now when they go to drive, the first thing they do is butt shoots up, okay? Then all that's left is back extension. So make sure that you're driving through the ground, okay? Think about pushing up and back. Push up and backwards. What you don't want to see is this. Okay. You want to keep that butt down. Don't let it pop up. <laughs> That's it for our sumo deadlift technique, Bob. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. Also, tag me in your videos and pictures on Instagram. That's at Marvel Bombshell. We'll see you on the next one.